Hey Streamliners! The radio button is a special one. It saves the user selection when your app reruns, making it perfect for page navigation. Let me show you how this works. You can create a radio button using st.radio. It has two required arguments, the label and the options list. The label is the first one, which is the title or name for your set of buttons. The second is the options, which is a list of how many radio buttons to create and what their individual names will be. In my example, I'm going to use navigation as the label and the page underscore names list for the options. My variable page returns the individual option name that is currently selected. By using an if statement, we can generate entire pages based on the user selection. You can pass a third argument named index to change the default of the pre-selected option. Here, I can pass index equals one and my app will use the second page button as its default page. And in a snap, you have an app. Happy streamlining.